This is Rap the News. I want to tell you about an end time dream that I just had. In this dream, there was a piece of paper, like a, a typing piece of paper. And in the dream, I typed out some words on it. And these words were printed very neatly. And supposedly in the dream, the words mimicked a check worth $100,000. And I took it and put it out into the world. I don't know how I just put it out in the world. It wasn't like over the internet or anything else. And it was available for anybody to get it, to receive it. And so the first person that received it was somebody that was in prison. It was a bony black guy, you know, and he took $30,000 out of it and he put it into his bank. Don't know how all this works, but this is how I went in a dream. And the bank cashed it and then he took the $30,000 and he paid for a boat to come to the island that he was on and he jumped ship at night off of this island at night and then he drove to his freedom on a boat so he spent thirty thousand dollars to get rescued from an island from prison and then there were seventy thousand dollars left worth and they were in words and then i seen a church they took sixty thousand dollars and they used it to pay off all their legacies and debts pay everything off that they ever had and 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 they took and put the money in the bank and the bank cashed and I was like wow you know the bank cashed the words that I wrote on a piece of paper that's incredible when these people are using those words to make you know the free they sell pretty much make they sell free and um they paid off all their legacies and debts and everything else and then there were $10,000 and I was wondering who was going to take the last remaining 10 K. And then I woke up from that dream. And, uh, what that dream means to me is that some words that I use freed somebody in prison and freed a congregation of people. Right. And, um, you know, the, the debts and the, the imprisonment, was the mind and the spirit being enslaved, I believe. You know, I don't know really how to decipher too much of that dream, but that's what I'm pretty much getting out of it, that these were words, and those words were worth something that was said. With that said, um, I put out this He the Warning video, and it's about some movie, and I don't believe anybody knows what this movie is. If you do, put it in the comments because I don't know what this movie is, you know. But it's the last video that I made. And uh, I put a link in the video. Inside the link, if you would pay attention, it's going to lead you to a video that cannot play on YouTube. Because it will be banned two seconds after I put it on. And this, I'm going into another dream. You know, or dreams, a series of dreams that I keep having. And maybe you are experiencing these dreams and I'm going to try to help you understand them. Okay, it's dreams where you're back at your old house, your parents' house, your grandparents' house. It's some house that, you know, it, it almost looks like the house, but it ain't the house. Something like that, you know. But you could tell that you went back to an old neighborhood, an old town. And then you're around people that you would never probably <clears throat> associate or be around. Sometimes there's dead people there. They already died, but they're there, you know, and so on and so forth. And basically, the, that dream is a futuristic event. Let's go to that. And so God says that I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. And the locusts is the Gentiles. Black, white, yellow, green, and brown. 
The canker worm, the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And he ends up by saying, um, and afterwards it shall come to pass that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And so we have a day of restoration. And that's what these dreams are. That if you did somebody wrong, you have to restore in what you misappropriated or did wrong to them until you make it good with all your brothers and sisters. And so if you look at what it says after that, I will restore to you the years that they have taken away from you. That they have devoured everything that you have and consumed it. I'm going to give that back to you. I'm going to restore that to you. And so all the people who led you into captivity is going into captivity. Because the next thing that we will look at is repayment. They have to repay everything that they did. They have to restore. It is a day of restoration and repayment. So if they took you into captivity, called you every name under the sun, treated you ill and oppressed you, they have to be treated exactly how they treated you. And so if you keep reading, it's going to say your way. Right? Like right here. Who shall declare his way to his face and who shall repay him what he has done? You rape somebody, you're going to get raped. It's a little girl out there, a cold case, uh, 22 years. They murdered, someone murdered this young 15-year-old black girl and threw her in a trash can in a plastic bag. Somebody dumpster diving, opened up the bag and saw her face and everything else and she was dead. That was some cold ass shit. And then through some DNA new devil technology, they found the guy 22 years over. I mean, 22 years later. And I think he was called uh, some kind of Joe Martinez or something like that. Yeah, Joe Martinez did that shit. And he had some kind of life with some astronomer or something like that. And they was calling it so. Some Jupiter Joe. Y'all can look him up. Jupiter Joe. And I want to say just rest in peace to the young lady that, that, that died. She got raped. And she got strangled to death. And that's how they, they knew she got raped. And that was in 1999. Right. And strangled to death. And, uh, you know, they connected him and her together. That was some cold ass shit. You know, and that, that shit is like real hurtful. And so, you know, let's pray for them and their family. That they finally got some closure. They know what happened now to their daughter and their, their family member. You know. And I feel for that, man. Because like I said... I had a, a girlfriend when I was uh, in, in high school and uh, she was going through some shit, uh, molestation, the whole nine yard and uh, she kind of ran away and she moved in with an auntie who accused her of sleeping with her man and she, I mean, she was going through a lot of mess and I was too young to even know how to deal with that type of crap. I didn't know how to deal with that. And so me and her had kind of like broke up. And the next thing you know, I seen her picture in the newspaper. And they didn't, they was like, who is this young lady? You know, and they had, she was dead. And they had opened up her eyes and took a picture and put it on the, on the cover of the newspaper, man. I was sick. Because, you know, we shared some, I, I didn't say I had sex with her. I did not have sex, but we shared some, you know close moments and I liked her she she was the first girl that you know she she was very popular and she didn't care that I wasn't so popular at the time you know and she came and chose me and and and, and kicked it and she stood up for me a lot you know this this young woman and to see her in like that uh, supposedly they said she took her shirt put it around her neck and hung herself on the west side you know, and then the cops came. They couldn't identify her. I remember they said she had like 11 cents in her pocket. 
I was sick. You know, and when I see this stuff where these people kill these, you know, it just brings back bad memories. Anyway. Yeah. And so rest in peace, man. You know, to all this. And I, I donated to, and I ain't supposed to say this, you know, because it said don't let your right hand, your left hand know what your right hand is doing. But I'm just saying this for anybody else who wants to do it to, to you know, abuse women and, and so on and so forth and all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, I don't know, some, if, if you can't help, you, I mean, you can help some type of way. I don't know. So anyway, um, we, 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 these dreams mean restoration. The past means you're going to have to go back, back and fix something that you broke. And you're going to have to make it good with everybody, the living and the dead, until you pay your debts and legacies on this earth. You want to free as many people as you possibly can free. You know, you want to go and apologize and make amends because apologies just don't do it. You rape somebody, how's the apology going to fix that? And and all the years and shit that they struggle with their life and everything else. You know, so many cases. It was just one girl that my brother was dating, uh, we was all telling stories, and then she had a story to tell that shocked all of us. She said that she was in the projects, so or she got snatched and took to the projects, and they took her to an abandoned house and tied her to something, and everybody just came in and out raping her. And then she said after a while, she started liking the shit. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. Is it is just a cold ass world, and so um, it is a very cold ass world. And when you watch that damn video and the link, that's some cold ass shit that they doing. They're trying to control mankind where you don't have a choice, and basically, you know, whatever they say or whatever they program into your your genetic code and everything else, which they they change your genetic code. Uh, you you gonna start starting to do things, and it make me think: this Gog and Magog war in the end, are they genetically going to make these people all fight each other? If that is the case, you want to move as far away from these monsters as possible. A lot of shit going down, and we ain't even done Israel. It ain't like you just gonna go back to your homeland you're gonna live happily ever after y'all gonna raise and all this no god said we have to be retributed in the earth i can just type it in right now and, and you'll learn the truth you cannot leave here until you paid off all of your shit that's the reason why we here we paying off our shit it's the reason why we're in captivity we paying it all off and the more that you give willingly the more you're going to receive willingly sometimes we pay off our debts you know with pain and misery and sometimes we pay off our legacies and debt with a cow a goat a sheep money um i, I didn't want to tell people and maybe I, I, I won't i'm gonna leave that alone but you know i was gonna tell some about some of the shit i've been going through but uh, and I'm talking about painful shit, and um, I, I just suck it up, man. And that's all we can do. Uh, we have to look at it the right way. God is erasing and clearing your slate when you're going through holy fucking hell, and you should be grateful that He's doing it that way instead of you gonna meet the meteorites and fire when they come. Anyway, you guys, tell me what y'all think in the comments. This is Raptor News.